the payment. So you have got your title. First title. First down, you know what, it was it was hard, it was a hard walk to get it, but um, you know, we, we, we came to an end and we got it, and I'm just really, really happy to I mean, that was not the same Pedro Matis as I see for us. So that was a oh, Pedro Matis that did not want right. to lose, that is someone that was coming there to win that belt. Yeah. So basically what happened is, he was eight week notice. See, in, with Sonny Edwards, he was two week notice. Yeah. So he took the fight against Sonny Edwards with two week notice. That's why he came in like that. With me, he was eight week notice. From the first time that we were scheduled to fight for this, he was noticed at the same time as me. So he had a full time to prepare himself for this, to, to win this yeah. So, you know, he, he was the best Pedro Matos and you had the best me. Um, yeah. But unfortunately, second round damaged my hand. Well, that's what I was going to talk to you about. I mean, going through the rounds, I mean, you are, as we know, a very awkward fighter to yeah. fight against. Um, I think he really got the up with you at some point, so and then there was a, I didn't know what happened with the points thing. I don't know what Howard Foster said to you, but it looks. I didn't know why you got pointed that. Yeah. What was why did you? What was the reason? And you know, was yeah. Um, well, the, the the referee said that I went too low, but um, I was going around the waist. Just I wasn't below the waist. It was our waist because you know it was. He he was when he was throwing a shot. He was throwing upward, and then he was on his toes. So he looked as if he was standing a bit taller than from his natural waist, where he, you know you normally sit down for punches. So when I was going down. Although he was on the story, he, felt, he looked as if I'm going below him, but naturally I was going the same level all the time. But it's, it's you know, the the, the, the referee knows they you know they got the experience. I'm not gonna argue that they took the point off me. Uh, you know, at that very moment when I went to the corner, I thought, fuck, you know, we're in a tough fight now. Yeah. We gotta be smart and just you know, we get a small point to get out from it. And um, we did what we could, and you know. I mean, after that, you was picking punches, you was picking them, you were doing that, and as you said, when it comes to the second round. Your right hand was out of action. I mean, you were just literally throwing that out there. You had to then like change your game plan. You had to say, right, I've had a point deducted. My hand's not going on. What's going for your head then? Oh, I mean, it was too much. Right, and literally around 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 seven, eight. You know, I was like, fuck, I'm well behind. I put my head because usually I I I I I I my opponent. And this was a very tough fight. You know, he, was, he was landing shots, and my, my other opponents don't really. But he had the time to play, prepare himself, and you know, he had a great game plan. Uh, he knew exactly how to uh, put me in a pressure point. Uh, he knew exactly how to cut the ring. Uh, you know, training the boots hard. And he, he did what he could, but um, you know, uh, I just thought I had to stay on my toes. The last three rounds, four rounds for me to nick the fight. The last three, four rounds of the fight, and uh, I from seven rounds upwards. I had to be on my toe and just taking points smart. And, um, I mean, uh, and what I need to say is, I mean, you are first British, Afghan, international to win a major belt. I mean, what is that for you? I mean, what is that? You know, um, um, it means a lot for me, you know, um, because um, I've always dreamed of making a little history. I was the first um, British Afghan to win my 10 rounder. I had a 10 rounder, not my fifth professional fight which was for a challenge uh, for a challenge build I was the first ever Afghan British to win my 10 round uh, so that was a, a proud moment for me to win my challenge build but winning a WBO European being the first British Afghan to ever in history do it you know I also dedicate this build for my mom who's suffering cancer who's fighting cancer so it meant a lot to me you know um, you know so it, the last few rounds all that I was so tired I had nothing left my hand was hurting I was getting shot, I was in court with a big, big shot. I thought, you know what, this is for mom, let's keep on fighting, let's keep on giving whatever I've got. And um, we came victorious, I'm very, very happy, you know, I'm very proud of myself. And um, what's next for you now? So what, what, what are we looking at? I mean, obviously, injury is going to set you back a bit. Yeah. I mean, you're going to try to be focused, you've got to go back into training and go, right, I need to have a rest, take it back. But you're hungry now, I mean, you've won a title, surely you just want to... Yeah, you know what it is, that's, that's how it is uh, boxing, when you, when, you, when, you, when you win something, you win more. And, um, you know, I've, I've got a hell of a team, I've got Robert Warren, Afri Warren and Bob Warren, who's done a hell of a work uh, in my career. He just recently joined in with two fights, last fight, and this is the second fight, he already got me tired. So they've done a hell of a job. And uh, they've got a bright future ahead of uh, for me um, to, to go, and we've got, you know, with me. I'm just going to sit down after this fight, a few days I'm going to rest, and we're going to sit down, and we're going to talk our, our way through for the 2020 and um, hopefully we've got you know we've got big big major titles coming for the 2020. Well congratulations Casey and victory and we'll definitely see you winning the field. Thank you so much thanks for our interview man.